as a woman uh, before you hit the so-called market. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion of what that would mean? What hitting the market would mean? Yes, yes, yes. But You're ready for the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Personally, uh, to me, as a person, in my opinion, uh, the stage where you reach, where you should consider yourself that now I'm ready to have somebody else, now I'm ready for my divine masculine, should be when you've already done the work. You've already done your own internal work. So much that when you're looking for this person, then you're going to meet somebody you're going to share yourself with, you're going to share happiness with. Instead of looking for people to give you happiness. Find your own happiness, find your own peace, find your own finances, and then look for somebody else who you can come together with to grow. Okay. Yeah, so to me, being ready for the market is when I've, I've already faced my own shadows, okay. fought my own fears, and okay. found myself before I find my own divine masculine. Okay, yeah. so in short, kwa jina ya kiroho ya buwana ni divine masculine. Yes! <laughs> we have the divine feminine and we have the divine masculine. Is that the, the male, mate? yeah, uh, the men are the representation, they are the fragments of the divine masculine. For life to come into being, there must be two things, wisdom and understanding. Wisdom cannot exist on its own without understanding. The male is the wisdom, the woman is the understanding. So? So, the divine feminine and the divine masculine cannot exist apart if they want to birth something into this world. So, me, I usually refer to men as the divine masculine and women as the divine feminine. Div kuna wisdom na understanding. Yes. What is the space for the foolish person? <laughs> <laughs> now, when, when, when we get to like the foolish person, that is when you, you work on yourself. The world is about expansion. Everybody okay. comes here to expand. Okay. Nobody is born knowing everything. We all learn. Ah. We come here to experience the universe through our own individual eyes. Okay. So that is where the fool is. Okay. So when you morph into le a level where you can understand yourself. Yes. And you can, un you can take the wisdom and produce it into something. You know, most of the time we, they call it spams. Okay. You know, the, the women, they receive the sperms and then the baby comes out, right? It's just, uh, when you look at that from a spiritual aspect, it's just about receiving a wisdom and translating it into understanding. And the women are the ones who do that. So there's no wisdom quite on that other side. <laughs> <laughs> That's the balance is, yeah. you need to need understanding, no wisdom. So, so, see, wisdom, I guess it exists on its own without understanding. And understanding cannot come into being without yes. wisdom. They usually say that the man was created first, Cindy. Yes. It comes from that. It comes from uh, really something coming from the source. Anything yes. that you want to manifest into this physical reality, it must come from the source. When it comes from the source, it, ma it comes as wisdom. That okay. is when the male is created first. And then this wisdom has to be translated into understanding okay. for it to even exist in this realm. For you to explain yeah. that many times, mm -hmm. in a, it may prove your point, Yako, there is no understanding on this side. <laughs> 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 and now we turn to the chairman of sampling. Uh -huh. uh, chairman, yes. uh, how, uh, how does a man prepare for the market? And how do you know you are ripe now to be? Unajua shida ya watu wengi ni ati wanaingianga soko kama wajaiva. Yes. 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 Yes or you don't have a way integrate issues vile unaenda kupambana na dunia. Of course, yes. that's why we fail so many times. That's why unasikia mtu wamekua kwa relationship, they never last six months, three months, nini, hivo, hivo. And that's why unapata tena mara zingine pia tunaumia sana. Mm -hmm. So it's a great danger, just supporting a point like, we never knew. Najua wengine wetu wada tulingia kwa soko by accident, unapatana na mtu wanakuambia, niko na dem, pia unaenda kutafuta dem. Uh -huh. And you're not even ready. You understand? Peer pressure with mingi. So it's, but I would say there is no perfect time of getting into the market. There is no perfect time of getting into the market. Yes, you can so start. Even in any no, unaza answer. You see, the problem is, unataka kuingia kwa soko kubwa na unafaa kuwa kwa ndonyo. Unajua ndonyo? 
so what what this um, niki toa uko kwa hiyo lugha yenu yeah. ni sema eh uh, unataka kuingia kwa class yenye si yako yes unataka kuweka you want to go and sell hook your products at kafu yeye tunavaa kuwa unauza mahali fulani pale kwa kibanda yako so you must for me is starting small because you gather a lot of experience as you go up because yeah. in your formula ina maanisha mm. there is no set one person for one person because ukiwa kwa kibanda yako utaguru na hii kibanda yako no yes but you can open a wholesale unaweza fungua supermarket <laughs> wengine after that you can own a chain of supermarkets yes unanielewa kenye nasema do you agree <laughs> na kuelewa na kuelewa na kuelewa yeah. yeah. I'm I'm getting what you're saying. Yes. But now wasn't could this is swali. If even you last time ukifika point sasa uko na wholesale uko na ushafungwa di different supermarkets. So are you are you speaking in terms of like polygamy for men? No, no, no I'm not talking about polygamy. Oh, okay. I'm talking about experience. experience. Oh. The reason why most men fail is because they have no experience. Yeah. And and this that's experience is that, that is not coming from one person. Definitely. You must go that's why you how can you get experience in one job? <laughs> eh? How can you get experience in one job? Experience in angali wangwa in terms of frequency ama different jobs ama the amount of time you spent please. If today you are hiring a cameraman for this Dr. Kingori show. Yes. Who would you hire? A novice or an experienced cameraman? This person uh, may have worked with only one camera. Yes, but for how long? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yes. So <laughs> the, <laughs> there is the point of the time. Unaweza unapata experience kwa mtu mmoja in 10 years, which is good. But you will not I don't think you can get very good experience if you have just got one experience from one person. That is my opinion though. So I um, according to point ya Jemo in Amanisha you can uh, wisdom can look for more understanding yeah if adam had had more experience angefanya ile makosa ilifanyika garden of eden do you agree especially no okay personally what i'm getting from what he's saying yes. mimi can you agree nayo about what he's saying is experience in lazima and he experience ni kila mtu ndiye anadetermine experience yake acha nikwambie kila mtu anajuanga ni kwa nini anataka kuingia kwa relationship some yes. people wanataka kuingia kwa relationship because they are running away from poverty others want to yes. ingia kwa relationships because they are so insecure being alone that wakionekana wakiwa na watu wanaona ni kama watu wanawaheshimu watu wengine pia wanataka kuingia kwa relationship to cover skeleton zao kila mtu anajua ni kwa nini anataka kuingia kwa relationship it's usually different for everyone else but now what we are saying is usiingie kwa relationship juu ya something a reason wanaume na wanawake waliletwa kwa hii dunia divine feminine and divine masculines waliletwa kwa hii dunia ku complement each other this there are things you can do for yourself and this is why i, I never agree with the phrase that what a man can do at a woman can do better or whatever like th things like that. there are things that men can do that women cannot do and there are things that men can't do yeah. that women can do so women and men are complementaries. Hakuna mtu mwingine mwenye ni better than the other. But kuna vitu zingine kwa maisha yangu as a, as a, a woman that when a man comes into my life kuna vitu zingine na zinifanyia zi make maisha yangu ikuwe easy. Na yeye mwenyewe anapenda kufanya hizo vitu. So okay. unaona compa compatibility inaingia na hapo. So kama men are com collectively supposed to be compatible with women, yes. if I'm getting you correctly, hakuna mm -hmm. mtu wa mtu. <laughs> Kuna mtu wa mtu because you can't be compatible with everybody. Kuna but tu you can be most of the according to Jemo you can be compatible with a few people. Yeah, you can be compatible with more than one person. Okay. Yeah, you can spiritually. Be, yeah, you can you can be able to connect with to, with more, more than one person when it comes to intimacy. Okay. Na pia intimacy pia ina depend na venye una define intimacy. Okay. Unajua most of the time we think in group work so much and yet we are living individual lives. Okay. Kila mtu ako na maisha yake, unafaa kuishi maisha yako venye wewe mwenyewe ina make your sense. Because trust me, size tunaweza kuwa mimi na wewe tuko like we can date, right? Tunaangalia ati e, example. <laughs> <laughs> Inaweza kuwa ati example ni mimi na wewe tuka, we can date. But then again tunaingia kwa relationship kuna vitu zingine zinaitwa trauma you, you understand and it comes from way back hii trauma inatoka ina from enzi za feminism venye feminism ilianza so venye siku hizi due to patriarchy venye watu wanaraisiwa watu wanaraisiwa tofauti 
but yeah, ki inaffect hadi wanaume tu venye inaffect wa, 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 wanawake pia but then una find kuna wanawake wenye wameraisiwa kwa wanaume wenye wameraisiwa na uh, parents who are not available mothers who are not there and then there are men who are raised with, by parents who are forceful on them we have two types of men okay two types actually three the, the good ones the divine masculine when you are kazi they are good they are, they are competent to take up the role of a divine masculine and then we have these men when you anahitaji mama okay ni mama yake anatafuta kwa wasichana and then kuna wengine and then kuna wanaume wengine wenye what they are looking for in women is wanatafuta wale wasichana wenye ni vichwa ngumu wawaonyeshe ati eh i can tame <laughs> You know, for real, <laughs> and these are opposite t- traumas. They are opposite sides of traumas. You will Una either attack... Una set aside, and set out kuenda kutafuta kisirani. Yes, kisirani kichwa ngumu ndia onyesha, provio mabeshe wake ati mina is amtem, leten, is amtem. And these are the narcissists. You know, they, can, they, they look for women that they can control and tame. And then there are we, men who look for women who can take care of them. These two are trauma, traumatized kids. Okay. You, you are supposed to, like the men who are straightforward, I'm a com- competent for the role of the divine masculine, are men who are comfortable in their femininity and comfortable in their masculinity, so much that they are coming in to act as the natural role. Ile a, ku protect, you understand? There are men who naturally want to protect. They, are, they naturally love providing, they naturally love being there, being of service to the women. You know, mm. and then there are men who, Awataki, awataki ku, 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 ku support. So okay. we, women usually find themselves falling for men who need mothers or narcissists when you wata wa, 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 wata wa, they will make your life a living hell because they will spend their life, lives proving that they can tame you. And then there is now the divine masculine, okay. the men who are very comfortable being okay. men. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so in short, the three categories ni bishops, bahati, <laughs> and GSU. Jemo, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jemo. Mm. In terms of um, identity, yes. Ya Charlie ya madem. Charlie ukingia kwa market, do you consider vitu kama hizo za profiling of an individual ama ni nini huku bamba kwa dem before useme, uh, sasa mimi wacha ni ingie niseme, nataka u dem, ni vile dem anaka ama kuna other considerations? You see, but you see, for a man, it depends. Uh, when you're a teenager, the interests are different. When you're a teenager, you can't get a dem, 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 you can't get a dem. Ego purposes, esteem issues, and everything. When you now you get to your 20s and 20, up to 20 to 25, different reasons. Mostly, it's because of adventure. Mm-hmm. Ni leo ni adventure. Mm-hmm. Unasikia hey, Kingori sijui alikuwa road trip sijui wapi na wasichana. Wewe pia unataka kwenda hiyo <laughs> shughuli na wasichana fulani ufanye hiyo kitu yenye nafanyikaga kwa hizo road trips. So 20 to 25 if for me is adventure. Mm-hmm. 25 to 35 is mostly when most men realize who they are and what they want in life. That's hiyo ni like a point unaweza make good decisions with your life or extremely bad decisions with your life. Especially on women issues. Mm. Why are you relating with them? What level are you with them? Unanielewa? Mm. Unataka kuwana dem flani kwa kitu flani. Unanielewa? Hapo ndiyo awasi ya nasema wambe fail, kuna mtu wana una, eh, ule dema kuna job wacha ni mukatie, mm. aniweke. Mm. You understand? It happens. Yes. Unona? Pia kuna maalfa wanasema, this is the time I want maybe my business, ama mali nafanya kazi, I want to be so successful, and I want a certain type of a woman to be, be beside me. Unanielewa? Hiyo ndiyo time pia watu tena wanaenda rampage. Kuna watu sasa hiyo pia from the year 20 to 25 they were so heartbroken nao pia wameamua kurudisha mkono. Na ni eleo so they are on a spree. They are on a spree of just hurting women. You understand? So there are various faces and then there's like a group of people who are like now it's time to start a family. Na ni hawa watu wote there is nobody who is perfect. Because hata ule wakusema na anataka kuanzisha family yo time, aneza anzisha na ifail. If he doesn't have the right reasons why they want to do it. Unanielewa. So, but it's a path of discovery for me. Yo age ya yo time. Okay, kwa hivyo, as in, uneza break up na mtu with age bracket as an excuse. Like, age bracket break up. (laughs) Hei mazei relationship ya hezi ya ndelea ni mefika 25. (laughs) (laughs) 
Is it kwa sababu with the explanation? No, I'm saying you yes. see when uh, scientists do their research, they give a percentage. Yes. <coughs> and they have never said 100%. But I'm saying majority of people hiyo ndio time wengine ndio wako kole ako ka age ka 18 to 25 you need nini first job unanielewa hasole ya kwanza maybe ndio mzee amekuja tao anajielewa wenye amekuwa tao ndio pia wazazi wanawapusha anambia sasa it's your time to move out mm. you need to move out and start uh, your life so it's ako ka period it's actually one of the most confusing okay unanielewa yes lakini sasa the most confusing stage ni hiyo 25 to 35 that's what determines you as a man kama after hiyo 35 utaingia 40 yako ukiwaaje basi that in that case then marriage should be segmented in the sense that eh ni aje uni demo kunifikisha 40 alafu after hapo sasa tutajua you see the person you pick hiyo miaka inahitaji it determine utaingia uzeni wako aje if that is all unataka kuingia kama as a family man you know there are people who wants to be bachelors Yes. You see marriage it's not a must. Marriage is an option. Yeah. And that's why I'm backing up a point ya kusema until you feel you want to do something. And the same thing in a relationship. Unaona za hii mtu una meet na mtu mnaongea na yeye 2 3 days mmeanza ku date. Una date na nani? Bado ni strangers. Ni kweli? Yes. Unanielewa? But you yourself are you enough to give yourself happiness? Yeah. Wewe mwenyewe usienda kwa relationship at you mtu akubambe. You have utaenda tena expectations kidogo uone eh huyu mtu jo hata sitaki kuwa na yeye yeah. but if you are happy yourself with no expectations mm. you can be able even be able to patch up na utengeneze hata huyu mtu kulingana na venye unataka mm. uh, i believe you would have a different definition before tuingie tu kwa hiyo market value kabisa mm. you would have a different definition in terms of the limits of sampling to know whether huyu mtu ndio divine masculine like as a woman what are your limits of getting to know whether someone is really a divine masculine ama ni Okay so most of the time when you are when as a woman when you are in a relationship with a, a, a man how do you determine that yeye ni divine masculine wako you will know Ona Acha nikwambie you will know you will know Then how do you explain when, character when development When when there is so much Ona sasa acha nikwambie story na character development when we are going through issues that we go through trauma kila mtu akona trauma kila mtu akona bag ya mawe amebeba kwa mgongo for absolutely no reason and most of the time when you get into relationships this trauma starts to surface sasa time time zenye watu wanakuwa in relationships una una una, una, una angalia nga mse na unajiuliza una ati eh huyu mse anaweza kuja kuona zile closet nini skeleton zangu zenziko kwa closet can they want to see handle? that yeah can they handle and then is it close is the skeleton zoo come out to pole pole now when they start coming out the type of a person that you are with it will determine you will know kama huyo ni divine masculine wako the way they react to your close to your skeletons it will be very safe it will make you feel very safe to even let yourself out but then so, when the moment umeanza kutoa skeletons na mtu anazusha So basi eh. Eh, just to get you from apple eh. ni ukitaka kujua mali relationship yako inaenda mm-hmm. kwa pillow talk piga hora zako <laughs> uone reaction and then from there you can tell whether who person anaweza yeah. you you will see the compatibility there utaona tu if you you have to lie for this person to like you wrong move but if you have madame, to pretend ni madam you only reveal uh, 15% <laughs> of everything in a lifetime and that is the difference between our men and women you see men are very direct people wanaume ni watu wenye wanapenda straight forwardness na wanafunzwa hivyo na patria kitangu totoni there are people who are very straight forward they communicate in a very straight forward way akitaka kukunywa chai atakwambia mimi nataka chai nitengeneze mchana okay see about chai though okay. but madam wenye tumefunzwa tumefunzwa ku conceal don't show don't show people that 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 nini at unataka wacha ajione and sasa we are being set up by our parents from the word go parents wanafunza maboy to be direct and then madam society inatufunza ati wacha aone ati ataku call ata anafaa kukukall kama anakupenda ama kama anakupenda sana anafaa kujua ati anafaa kuleta anga ice cream but then if you are a chick if you want ice cream sema ati nataka ice cream Like for you to de- communicate with the, the the masculinity of the society we have to be very direct as women and the, we are failing as women because we are being indirect and men can't comprehend indirect. Kwa hivyo ukipata 
Yeah, they can't comprehend. You just become, be straight. If you want, even in sex, during making love, if mwanaume anafanya kitu enye upendi, hakuna aja umon ujifanye. Just say, staki tufanye hivi. It makes life very easy. But you can't take things too little. Hwana sema nga, oh, ni uwe. You can't be, that is too direct. No, but... Uh, but then, now then, I, I, I hope you're understanding what I'm what I'm saying is when women learn to be more direct with men, just say wasichana tunapenda kujivunia kwa mabeshte wetu ati oh he did this to me and I did not even ask he brought flowers to me and I did not even ask and then mademo wengine wanaenda kwa wanaume wao wanaanza kufura ati akuletewa flowers and and ni, ni communication to communication sawa so, uh, yeah. that, that's how it's supposed to be yeah. but as far as things are now them direct ni wanaume <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as 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 at now, men also get so threatened with masculinity from women. When women are direct, some men also get get, get intimidated. But then, imagine how kazi yako inaweza kuwa rahisi kama unaambi wangu tu fanya hivi na unafanya because that is what men like to be told that do this and when they do it correctly, you applaud. All right? History yenye tunasema nga tio I will fix my car. I will I will do all this. There's a reason why men have the muscles for 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 this for this dimension. There's a reason why when you look at a man and you look at a woman they can't compete when it comes to muscles. It's because men are very strong in the physical di dimension meaning they can do stuff. They can protect. It's like in the lion in the lions in the jungle. They can protect, they can provide. And so they always just want to do this and when you tell them directly they do it. If you don't, they go to women who will. I think I'll maintain my stand here. Yeah, if you want a man who can protect you, as I get him to NYS. <laughs> Nini, Jemo, do you, in, in terms of, um, do you agree with Pitu Women should be Partly, direct? partly. Uh, some codes need to be hidden by women <laughs> for us to unlock them. Okay. It's what makes also a man clever and a kuwa creative, nanini, nanini. Hata kwa game park, ujaona tu gazelle atikikaribia lions ni kule. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the lions have to support the gazelles, run after it, ndiyo, vitu zingine zi happen. But what I'm saying is, uh, for me, I don't want to be told anything. Everything, no. Unanielewa? Kuna vitu zingine, as venye tumeumbo na mungu, unafau discover, ujue. Niko interested na mtu fulani. Eh, huu mtu wako na interest gani? Lazuna ujua hiyo kumusoma soma, unanielewa? Iyo kitu walikuwa nasema ya trauma and people sharing uh, their traumas, their closets, their skeletons. Nazima mfike level na mtu ndiyo mweze kushare. Don't meet someone yeah. today and tell them about your horrific life. Maybe that person actually anatakatua sikiyo story ya kuchekele. But Ama also don't lie. No, let me finish. Yeah. It's not, I'm not saying you lie. <laughs> don't go to a first date and start talking about how your mother sijui <laughs> alivanya nini 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 vitu kama hizo for me they come with levels as you get to know a person okay. but the best thing ni ati hiyo kitu hata kama ni demo nataka kuoa hata kama ni chelea nataka kuoa kuna hiyo kitu lazima utafeel do i really want to do the rest of my life with this person and if that question is yes then they should know you owe them a duty of information to know what they are getting themselves into Unanielewa? Kama ni family yenu, mtu yako anafaa kujua watu wetu wa family wanakuaga hivi na hivi. Usimpeleke tena huko akuwe surprised mmoja yeah. mwanze tena kuwa wachana. Kama ulikuwa na mambo ingine, unaona kama saa hii story ya baby mamas. People have baby mamas out here, but when wakienda kukatia madem na kuwa vibe, anaonyesha yeye hana mtoto ana hama nini. Si uko hivi. Then when the chick comes to your life kabisa ndio unataka sasa kumwambia eh by them huko na mtoi mahali fulani. Iyo trust venye itavunjwa ni kitu kurikava ni ngumu sana. Okay. Unanielewa? So, there is a stage if you want to advance with someone, they must know who you really are. Okay. So that wajue, eh, wewe unakuanga if. If you know you are polygamous in nature, even if, siya di unaleta mutu mwingine, but you know, yes, you need someone and a couple of side chicks, nini, nini. Your person should know that you like having more friends and you do certain things together with those friends. Ndiyo umusianza tena kusumbuana masimu, sijui nini, unanga, unanielewa. Mm -hmm. Prepare, and, and even for women. Ambia kijana yako, by the way, mimi natakanga kufanya vitu, mufanya vitu zangu fulani fulani. Yeah. 
Because well, Ndaka, there is this thing of as men as when you get close with someone they become your girlfriend, your fiance or your wife. Sasa unafikiria hiyo ni property yako. You can never own a human being. First of all, let's agree on that. Sindio ni rubuliza kama hakuna mtu wa mtu. Yes, you can hata wewe mtu mko na yeye sio wako. Kesho akiboeka unadhani maisha yake yatasimama. Okay. Si atatoka aende na mambo yengine iendelee kwa maisha yake. Thank you. Yes. Aya, so kuna story flani I was debating with my friend mm -hmm. eh, one of my personal philosopher mm -hmm. anaitwa Hari. Kwa anasema marrying down na marrying up. Tichali akimari dem from a higher social class that relationship is, will never work as in will never be smooth because uh, by design it's not meant to work. But the reverse is meant to work. How 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 true is that? I think it, it depends. Well, Charlie Akimari them from a higher social standard. Yes. Now, the reason why people are even saying that would not work is then uh, when we go back to fragile masculinity. If a man feels like their masculinity is threatened, because when I, when I come at them, they are not okay, higher, meaning they are the rich ones, you know, meaning she's the one who was raised in abundance and the guy was raised in survival. There are so many. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that, that w <laughs> when, when these two come together, even ata kama ni reversed, sasa dem di ametoka survival. The reason why dem akitoka survival in our, in our vizuri, ni kwa zoredi ya nakuja na femininity and dunia imetuambia saizi patriarchy ati masculinity iki, iki wagangari, man, be, man being the head of the house. Now the woman to submit is easier. But then men don't believe that women who are rich cannot submit to them and it is not true. It is not true. Women, women who are from high social standard can still submit to men who are not from high social standards. It all depends on. Okay. You know, that is what we, we, people need to focus on. And it will not be easy for these two relationships to work. It will require a lot of assurance, a lot of understanding, a lot of sensitivity between the two. But it does work. So for it to work, you must be an expert in ego <laughs> massage. <laughs> ah, yeah, sawa. Uh, Jemo, mm. do you agree in your story? How does social status <coughs> affect relationship? Yawatu? The person who determines whether it will work, whether can, irrespective of the social status, is yes. the man. Wewe uliingiaje kukatia odemu. Unanielewa? Juwata hizo kukaliwa, kuprovaidiwa na nini, ni wewe umedetermine. A man should always have something. Ata kama tuseme, unakamta gani? Give me of example of two people living. Chalia nakamta gani? Eh, kayole. Na dema metoka hapi? Kare. Eh, kare. kare. Sindio. Yes. Ugo kayole, how do you provide for yourself? First of all, you know you must be providing for yourself in your own space wherever you are. Ina kama unendanga sapa kare. Eh? <laughs> Sawa, kama yonu ujanja. But now you see, if that's how meanza kufanya hivo, already you are submitting to a lot of other things. That woman should be coming to Kayole kwanza mnakula huko hata kama unatembea kwake. Ni kwa jamani kwao. Okay. Kwanza kama ni kwao haufai kwa unaenda kudunini uko kwao. Aongewe mayai aende quarantine ya 14 days. Kwa nini wewe umekufa? <laughs> you, you understand? So it's you who said. Hata hiyo kukaliwa, hiyo madam sijui kutu treat vibaya. Ile entry point wewe uliingiaje? Kama uliingia na mauongo ama pia ulikuwa yeah. na interest, mm. unaangalia hiyo do yao. Si wewe pia anajua. If you have another interest in, in a relationship, the other person always know. Mm. You can even be someone who you know you are with them because they want your money, but you mm. are up. I like enjoying my money with you. <laughs> As in that's... that's yes, yeah. you must always... Me ukwambia, lazima ujue interest ya umutu mwingine kuwa na wewe ni nini. Kama uja figure out your kitu, don't proceed with whatever serious plans you have. Lazima ujue. Yes, nazia tu umulize ati wewe unakuanga na mimi jua nini. That's now, hiyo ni ufala sasa. That's what I'm saying. Ni wewe mwenye ujue. So, what, what really motivates this person to be with me? Yeah. How do you know na umesikia sisi ni wa direct, pande ingine ni 15%. Hiyo direct, okay, na ukatia dem, so unakuanga na interest. Sa hiyo kiona dem po hapa utajua, hey, udem na izataka story flani na ye. Hiyo story ni nunu nataka. Na ye pia, ukimurushi anduano ndiyo ishike, Pia na kuwanga na interest. Unajua hivyo. Mm. That's why she accepts to you are to end out, to fanya nini, to fanya hivi. Because pia naona, umu tu pia na za fulfill interest yangu. Iyo interest ndo nafakujua ni gani. 
Yeah. So basically relationship ni politics tu kama kila mtu anaingiana na agenda. It has an agenda. But that, that is it the has reason, an yeah, agenda. That is the reason why we have all the this discomfort and resistance in yes. relationship because kila mtu anaingiana kama kadi zake ameweka pale nyuma. Hataki ku show. Mm. But relationships would be very easy kama kila mtu tu anasema. You know what? Yeah. Indio mana and kuna watu wenye wanapendana bure they they love each other for free we hakuna reason like the, maybe i love your personality i just want to be with you because you may i feel safe around but you but that's an interest too yeah that's also an interest yeah. that should be put forward kila mtu ajue tu ati indio maana this is this is and this is Kama what ujui, is happening kama mtu yako mnakuanga na yeye kwa nini you are in a lot of a lot of problems will follow but you but ina maanisha hiyo kitu ikiisha ni hivyo Yes that's why mnaweza kana na mtu si ati watu uboeka ni mtu anakaa anaona ah ile interest ni kwa nayo hapa zero it's no longer or it's no longer being safe yes unajitoa acha uambia mtu wewe ime but if, if the interests are being served kwa watu bado wanakaanga pamoja mm. sawa so tuseme tumejibu hiyo swali yetu ya market value ni hiyo kitu yenye wewe upendewa yeah the the the, the longer unaweza maintain ama for the duration unaweza maintain yes. hapo ni wewe why do men invest Unaona achalia ameona dempoa anaona maybe anafikiria hapa nitatumia do nitapeleka Udem sijui Mombasa sijui twende holiday wapi anawekelea hiyo doji ya nini ya interest yake si ni ukweli uh -huh. you understand yeah. and when we as men when we don't figure out hiyo interests na spend ama anawekelea hizo resources is it worth because once you achieve it is it an interest that you want to see hiyo maisha yako yote That's why unaona mtu anatumia do. Akishapata Kenya na pato naambia mtu by the way atakuwa saidi kwa busy atuwezi ona na sana. Yeah, I am busy job na sumbuliwa na nini because the interest was met and someone ako sawa. Thank you. So does that mean he had to get ni mademo na kuanga wana revise interest? Eh yeah, kwanza history I had to get kwanza unajua had to get it comes with a lot of definitions had to get sometimes i have friends when you wana kuja mtu anasema ati i want to play had to get kidogo nione kama anaweza ni pasumo most of the time it's just games that people play and sometimes it's not sometimes a woman just doesn't want a guy but a guy is thinking that ana play had to get mm -hmm. and then there are sometimes them ana anataka the guy for real though But then anasema tu ah let me just ka kidogo nione how much ata ata, ata push meaning you're baiting that person's emotions you want to see how far they can go and these are some of the toxic things that starts in relationships yeah. and then they grow to become so big later on that in a in a sambaratisha the whole relationship but when you guys start just being honest watu wanafatu kuwa honest with each other and i know sometimes it's hard to be honest because una look out for yourself you're looking out for yourself So this is the reason why ata, it takes me back to the way we started this conversation. Kila mtu tu akwe whole. Kila mtu tu awak on themselves okay. without attachments to other people and then when you are whole then now you can settle because when you are whole you can provide everything for yourself so you won't really need other people you won't go around using other people for your own interests. <coughs> so um, by 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 making yourself whole eh, kuna room ya ku deal na wakora in this Period. Sasa when you're making yourself whole sasa una no wakora wakora wa no commitment uh -huh. umesema usicommit kwa relationship as mm -hmm. anajua kile na maanisha yeah. uko kwa kiwanja when yeah wewe unacheza tu that's a that's a thing as well mpaka ukwe mpaka ukwe mpaka ukwe ready ona relationships the reason why some people wa, nataka uone hii point because it's very linear ni, ni kadogo sana the reason why most people wanakuanga in relationships Nikos kuna kitu fulani mtu anataka asaidiwe nayo. More, that is the, uh, 99% of the time people get into relationships because true. of those. That's very true. Yes. Na unajua disadvantage moja ya history. Mm. Jemu dem akishakuwa akishakuwa mat. Mm. Ama chali ameshakuwa mat. Mm. Goes both ways. Yeah. Like uh, the so called body count mm. ju, you are soul searching but yeah, yeah, unatafuta, yeah. si ndio? Mm. Mm. Ile time hii jo kwa tusema I'm ready to settle. You, but but you see unajua kama kuna hiyo rubbish moja ya body count na vijana ni rubbish kwa eh acheni kuuliza wasichana yeah. tu umekuwa na wasichana wangapi why are you asking <laughs> then <laughs> if you know what you do then if you know what do you do with that information na you know whether it is, you are, na... is your divine ni divine nini divine masculine <laughs> eh hey. no 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 
Unajua wanaume tukiulizwa body count eh? <laughs> Dunia kidogo tena itafungwa kidogo. <laughs> Unanielewa? Ufai kuuliza dema amekuwa na wasasa. Sasa unamuuliza wa nini? <laughs> Because that information might haunt you. It's those toxic things that what tena wanaanza kuambia na huko. Sasa <laughs> what ye wewe hata unisemeni my friend I was in a phase of my life huko <laughs> mtaani can i say it on tv uta edit eh? yeah, sema it's called the office you, you understand unaelewa hiyo kuna watu sasa hiyo ka period it's kana kuanganika discovery unanielewa i'm not saying it's important or it's not important it's practical because kuna watu pia wengia hiyo ka ka face wanaka for the rest of their lives <laughs> they, don't, they don't get it out of it tena na shanga ulitoka yes but that information inafaa kwa ni msea kuambia sio ushindo kiuza demi yako tumekuwa na wasi wangapi yeah. ni yeye kama ata feel kuambia by the way and that should come a long time unaweza taka kuambiwa kama umesampo ama kama hujasampo eh nimekuuliza hiyo <laughs> information unaweza taka kuambiwa kama umechangamuka ama kama hujachangamuka because how you make the decision in those two situation is different oh before eh yeah? if you are told kama mtu anaweza kuambia before sasa ujiondoe. Si ndio ujiondoe juu umesikia eh hiyo account ni noma. Alafu uko umesample na usikie iko sawa sana. Alafu sasa uambie hiyo story. Will you change your decision? Hapo mse repent. Jo kuna 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 and we'll get to this. Niliambiwa na pastor Mr. T by the Mr. T alikuwa anatu explain here. Wasa wanasema ni bro yako by the way. Mnafahamu fanyiwe DNA test. Kila si ndio wanafanana eh na mnaongea the same. Mr. T alikuwa anasema mtu yote umewahi sample. Ile siku ya kuchomeka. Wewe hata ulisample mtu mmoja but amesampuliwa na watu 50. Nyi mnaingia kwa line moja. As long as una get Munapanga laini <coughs> so sijui dhambi zako zingine kama zitakuridim but sampling <laughs> na maanisha anga kuna mustari ile siku so solomon atatokea na watu wangapi eh, solomon si labda hata ndio yesu ajarudi juu kesi yake bado manze manze unajua hizi stories are heaven unajua <laughs> stories are heaven Mimi yeah, always say I'm very spiritual I'm religious hata ni poa mmepata na hapa wali yeah. ata explain so yes, size but uh, Stories are heaven wase tena kidogo wasituambie <laughs> to bridge your gospel unajua yeah. heaven dushambi wa kutakuwa na judgment <laughs> utakuwa kila sasa wewe unajua cases za watu wa China wapeke yao cases zao zitasikizwaje unanielewa <laughs> <laughs> wako 1.8 billion unaona so ni kama watu watakuwa wamekwa wapi hizi cases zote zikiapen <laughs> that is one question logical question haya tunaambiwa wale huko wakiimba na nguo za white pale kuna watu wengine wanachomeka na shetani shetani anageuza watu na folk eh kwambia tu jamaa na kwa hii side yeye kama ni mshikaki so we have been told so many stories yeah i think i cannot comment on heaven issues because i don't know what will happen i think it's because you're not sure you are going there no 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 wale ni kwambia scared you see ukisoma biblia inasema ukifanya makosa ukirepent Unajua asia that we are forgiven by human beings. Si tuna it's God who yeah, forgives the yeah, sins. Yeah. So I don't know what you talk to God with. You don't know what uh, Yusuf who is a Muslim talk to his God with. You don't know Patel what he tell his cow. Right? <laughs> Unanielewa? Una Na ujui Buddhist anaambia mtu aje. Yeah. So let's all pursue our religious courses but with a sense of logic and yeah, direction. Yeah. Ada mse yani tukiambia watu pale mtaani usidanganye watu tena una, because ndio unaona kuna radicalization of some churches zinaambia waseki tu fulani zinaharibu mpaka nyumba za watu yeah. marriage za watu biashara za watu because you are pursuing a path to go to heaven ukikosea watu wengine wengi Unanielewa so it's a catch 22 lakini heaven tutaenda tukifika huko everyone i am telling you will be surprised including the pastors ah aya ndakushikia hapo kidogo tu ndakurudisha hapo tena but uh, you 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 are also very spiritual yeah. and you approach spiritualism from a very different perspective yeah. i have someone who is limiting her body count mm-hmm. i know someone alisema alisema ataki kupitisha watu watatu mm-hmm. she's very specific okay. like anataka dhambi anaweza handle yeah. so what's your perspective on soul ties 
uh, my perspective on salt type. First of all, Sijikama, like I don't know whether you guys uh, engage with astrology. Story in a zodiac signs, uh -huh. okay? That is the, the easiest way to put it. Uh, so personally, something about what that. I believe in when it comes to soul ties, everyone has a, a soul, soul ties that, soul ties are about, supposed to help you. Vitu zanyu naskizanga sijuati my soulmate, my twin flames. These are things, people who are supposed to help you on this planet. And soulmates seem, more, seem to moja. And a soulmate can be your sister. A soulmate can be your teacher. Or it can be a sexual partner. But now, when it comes to sexual uh, partners and relationships, keeping your body count down doesn't help in anything. As a matter of fact, keeping your body count down or keep having excess too much sex <laughs> is, ro is a terrible spiritual practice. And Less sex is also a terrible spiritual practice. Please. No, no, no. no, no. Have you, have you read <laughs> when no. you have too much overindulgence on in sex, it's not good for That's your spiritual well what's health. What's the average? God, how many times? What? <laughs> 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 we gauge yeah? ourselves. You are too much. Go down, go down, go down. When you're done, now Lisa, ikifika. Too much, is yeah. it with one person? Uh, ama, many people do too much. Too much in what context? Too much, too much sex is just like... Ruka apa, ruka pale. Yeah, having Sampling. sex all the... You know people who have... Who just, they can't do without sex. They, 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 they just want to have sex all the time. They, it's very easy, like, it's very easy to get them to, to be horny and act on their horniness, even when it comes with siblings. Like, people who have, uh, they don't have boundaries. As in, when you're horny I want on boundaries. Huh? When you're four-wheel drive horny. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that means, but... And then, kuna watu wenye, pia awataki kuwa sex. Wanaji push away from it. And sexuality... Wanataka, <laughs> Sexuality. I know Anakosa. Sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. But you know there is masturbation as well. So you can always ka kama unakosa ku have pe people, you can always self service. Yeah. But then <laughs> but then it's not kuna evil. sec no. At, at an, sexuality God is the same as creativity. Is, is a man who was killed by God. No, no, no. Kunyonga ni creativity. Sexuality. <laughs> when, you can, when you can express yourself in the spiritual, in spirituality, to be able to express yourself sexually, that is what is called divine feminine as a woman. To be able to express yourself sexually, authentically, and just be a sexual being. There's so much energy that comes from sexuality. And one of it is Nini creativity. That's why you see artists. <laughs> when, you, when you see honor, when, ukiona tabia za ma artists, ukiona matabia zao and their sexuality, they, there's some artists who really indulge in some sick stuff and, and crazy stuff that maybe you can't get yourself to, to, to be in. But it's because, like, you draw, so many people draw creativity from sexuality. And naturally, in nature, sexuality and creativity are one and the same thing. Sexual people are very creative people. Now you know the problem. But then when you overindulge, you are again going to deplete your own energy. When you overindulge in sex, especially when you're just having sex for the sake of it, I don't have anything behind it. So without, without, mzima mzima kama bishop, you are very creative now. Like you, you retain all the energy. Sasa, when you don't use your sexual energy again, your creativity becomes dormant. Sasa ndiyo jemo anauliza how frequently? Sasa, how frequently you should, we when you to determine, because so when control, we, we know we have self-control. Now, when yeah. you want to say, I stop maramingi, what when you want to stop maramingi, you the urge to sometimes just stop yourself because you know it's not a good idea. Then, when you have the ability to stop yourself, then you can always stop yourself, especially sex, having sex should always have something at the back of it. Like, you shouldn't just be going around having sex. Why are you having sex in the first place? What kind of so energy you do you want? Sex. You must support your yeah. sex with. What, what type of energy are behind it? What are you trying to nurture? What are you trying to manifest even when you're having self, sex with yourself? Because sex is energy. Sex, you know, emotions that come after orgasm, are the same as emotions that we, 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 when we speak, all these things exist up there as energy. Oh, Zote. That's why people talk too much. Yes. Umesema vitu mob sana, 
mpaka mmenitoa I think we brought two sinners sikuangalia hiyo party hiyo party hiyo party to who hiyo <laughs> hiyo party at uh, okay nani anajua uh, too much is bad yeah too is true is bad. bad which is true kidogo pia ni mbaya yeah. yeah. because now for too much when it get to that level unaweza acha kwenda shughuli important wende <laughs> ukapiga shughuli fulani yes you, you, you understand yeah. yes unaweza you can be maybe you are going to do something for your business or something for work but what is ama you are going for a family meeting yani you are doing to go something else important that is important ah. to your life so you aspect your self control lazima ifike lakini pia ukikaa sana kama hauna kufikiria inakuwa ngumu <laughs> yeah you get even stressed out so, so lack of sex can mm. even cause depression so solution is a timetable yes <laughs> Fanga tu na timetable by the way. No jibanga, banga maisha yako vizuri. Yes, <laughs> As you're being told. <laughs> Ukuwe na time, yeah. Yeah. time for yes, it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Definitely. Yeah, and and also nini, on the aspect of soul ties, nini soulmates wanakujanga hapa kutusaidia ku learn. Most of the time the relationship iki tu yenye watu wa Nairobi wanaita character development. It's just learning. It is for everybody. Sometimes you'll just meet people when you are walikuja hapo kukufunza some lessons. Destiny Na wange kukufunza hizo lessons, awezi manage kuishi maisha yako venye inafaa. So sometimes you'll meet people who give you character development because they are supposed to. That is how your life path is. So people should not tiptoe through life at because kuna character development. Go for your own lessons, learn your own lessons and live your life. High risk high return. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ah yes, sir, sir. you also talk a lot about dimensions. Yes. What do you make Jamal Ishat party example yake na definition tukifunga what is your defi- your definition ya dimensions? Dimensions is are different energy levels and it's a broad topic but I'm going to just be very brief with it. When nini kwa hii dimension yetu kuna different levels of vibrations. Kuna level yenye sisi wenyewe tuna vibrate yenye ni third level 3. Physical dimension. <laughs> and then we have other higher dimensions that are spiritual dimensions. Yes. These are when you hear like demons, angels. You know, we have a higher dimension that mostly it's our thoughts, our words, our actions, our feelings that exist there. E dimension energies interact. That is why most of the time una is tengenya mse ama ukwebeshte na mse alafu uende msengenye and then the next time you are meeting energy zenu zime shift because ya mwenyewe alif ya na ajajua ana hiyo 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 knowledge but because of how we interact up there nothing is hidden under the sun okay so all energies venye unaziweka huko juu mm. zina interact tu zote and sometimes you can have a hint at eh hey, umse anitaki ama hey umse umse anitaki and it's true because of how much they interacted there but that information got to you from the higher interaction so intuition udaku si kusikia peke yake unaweza feel udaku yeah unaweza feel udaku man na intuition yako 